on this server, we get to play as a new role every time we die. Unfortunately, I started off as a human with no cool abilities, which is pretty lame. But then something happened. I met up with Flip, Scott, and Sausage to fight the dragon. I know. Very brave of me. We're ready. Hey, we're here. Welcome, welcome. I found the stronghold. Let's go downstairs. Let's go loot stuff and kill a dragon. Let's oh, go. Boy. We descended into the stronghold and were given gifts to help us during the fight. After getting rid of the lava, I jumped into the portal and followed the boys up to the island where our battle would begin. While you guys do that, I'm going to go destroy all the crystals. I'm going to fly around. Bye-bye. Now, I'm going to be honest. I kind of just let them do most of the work. But I shot some arrows. Actually, I shot a lot of arrows, which was weird because I didn't have an enchanted bow. I also put some water down to keep us safe from Endermen, so you know, I helped. I'm making a safe space for myself. In this current state, I am just a measly little human, so the combined powers the boys had really made this fight look easy. At one point, the dragon came right for me, which was kind of scary, but I ran away, so I was fine. Us, Catherine? Yeah. Oh, oh, Catherine. Wait, wait, wait! Run! <laughs> In the end, literally, the dragon died. Yay! Yay! He did it! did it! Easy! Whip stole the egg and he left. But then Sausage Scott and I adventured to new lands. We found loads of pretty plants and resources, and even discovered some ancient ruins that obviously I had to explore. I tried doing some of the parkour, which was relatively easy. I'm just incredibly awful at jumping. After finally getting to the top, I realized there was no loot and my efforts were for nothing. To make matters worse, I kept getting hit by a mysterious shulker and obviously that caused some panic, but again, I was fine. <gasps> no! Don't break above my head. After exploring for a while, I ended up finding a lot of cool things, but we wanted to go further. Me being the baby little human that I am, I didn't want to lose any of my stuff, so I left it in a chest before bridging to new areas. We found some really cool jellyfish that were in fact not friends, but they were really pretty. Ooh, look at these jellyfish. And there were also the prettiest blue glowing blocks I've ever seen, so naturally I grabbed all I could see. Get them all. After some more exploring and near-death experiences, but oh, oh, oh that would have been good. Why did I just you stop got, yourself? I I don't want to fall in the void. <laughs> that is no. We found some slimes, but little did I know that this would soon be the end. Hello. Oh, there's so many of them. Can you put any in a bucket? Are they friendly? <gasps> yep. As I was smacking slimes, I got disconnected from the server. Then once I logged back in, ah! stop! Ready to go there. Stop! Come on! Stop! Stop! Just do ah! I died to a slime. Embarrassing. But now I'm a sheep. Look at my face. Ah. But okay, technically, I am a fluffy friend. A fluff ball that is friends to many sheep. I basically experienced two things, happiness and discomfort. Being 15 blocks or closer to sheep triggers happiness and being more than 15 blocks away triggers discomfort. Being near sheep makes you happy. This gives you regeneration and speed one. Being away from sheep makes you sad. You experience discomfort and become slower and more hungry. So basically, when I'm close to sheep, I'm happy and fast and not hungry. But when I'm away from sheep, I'm slow, sad, and starving. It's a good thing I have loads of sheep around here. Well, now that I'm a sheep myself, it's about time this theme park got an expansion. Welcome to Sheepland. A fluffy cloud-like experience awaits. In this land, I want everything to feel like a fluffy little cloud sheep because, well, sheep are fluffy like clouds. They just don't float, or do they? No, no, they don't. But that doesn't mean their home can't. For the first build in this area, I want to build a sheep village in the sky. And to make it fun, each house will be on a cloud that you can get to by jumping. It'll be a parkour cloud village. Now to make this happen, we're gonna need some blocks that look like clouds. Obviously, we're gonna use some white concrete and glass, but I think with the loom, we could get some really pretty textures. Now in my backpack, I already have loads of concrete and wool, but I forgot that I don't have any glass. So while we look at our wool options, we could get some sand cooking. Now let's see, there's barky white, Blocky, bundled, cornered, crafted, cross-haired, cubed, harsh, rippled, rectangle, patched, knitted, scaled, soft, stringed, tiled, woved, windmill, wickered, and tripped white wool. Honestly, those are all really pretty and they would all work for my Cloud Village build. But I think for this project, I want to use blocky white, knitted white, rectangle white, and cubed white wool. <gasps> Cute! 
but I don't think everything should be white. We need some kind of accent color, like blue, the color of the sky. I was just in the end with those pretty jelly trees. I wonder what those look like. Also, I wonder if I brought home enough. This is all the stuff that I got from the end. It's very cool. I think it was this block jelly shroom. I have logs and bark. Do these make blue wood? Let's find out. What is this bark stuff? <gasps> it's perfect. Uh-oh. I just turned everything that I had into planks and that only gave me 64 and a couple. That's not enough for what I need to build. That means I have to go back to the end as a sheep. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. It's fine. I'm just going to put this stuff away so it is nice and safe. I'm going to grab some wheat if I have any. I'll grab some carrots and I'll grab some seeds because I'm a smart sheep. And smart sheep leave waste stones in the end so they can travel easier. I just need a few more experience points. That should be enough. Now let's just make a new ax, take off my helmet and put on a pumpkin, quickly fix my texture pack so that I can actually see. And now we can teleport to, oh, I don't remember which one it is. Maybe this one. Nope. This one? Yep. Aww. My death. Okay, anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for pretty trees. I think it's this one. What are you called? Jelly shroom bark. Yep, this is all I need. I think I'm good. Ah, the safety of home. Well, let's get rid of my silly pumpkin head. Take my backpack and all of my stuff back. And let's go check on my glass. We've got one, two, three, four, and five stacks of glass. That's Perfect, that's exactly what I need. We just gotta grab some dye and make them all white. Well, now that we got all the blocks that we need, it's time to build a fluffy floating cloud parkour sheep village in the sky. I used concrete for all of the main clouds and then surrounded them with glass in an attempt to make them look fluffy. Then between all the clouds, we have glass blocks so that we can get around the village, uh, ideally without falling. <laughs> and if you noticed, not all of the cloud platforms have glass around them. The ones with glass will have little houses and the ones without are just platforms to hang out on. But now that we have these platforms, it's time to build some houses. I did my math wrong. We need more blocks. There we go. The village is complete. To get around this area, you can start on this cloud and you can either go this way or that way or this way. First, we have this little house. Then we have this one with a waterfall and a balcony. Next, we have this small house. And if you noticed, I kind of mixed concrete with the wool for these houses. So the front of all the houses are concrete, but the sides are a different texture. Hold on. Oops. There we go. If we go back down this way, this is my favorite house. It's kind of hard to see when I'm so close to it, but this is what the inside looks like. I mean, they're all really small because they're for sheep, but this one also has a waterfall and it has a tower. By jumping up this way, we'll get to the very last house. And that one is just the same as the first one. Now that we have these cute little houses, it's time to fill them with sheep. This might take a while. Hello, friends. Come here. We've got our first sheep. Would you like to come with me? I have wheat. Come on. All right. I believe in you. You can do this. Come on. Follow me up the steps. Let's go into your house. <gasps> yes! <gasps> Good sheep. Have a wheat. Come on. You can figure it out. Come on. <gasps> I'm so sorry. Oh, 
was an accident. <laughs> I was just trying to bring him to a new home. Well, I do have my gravestone for my death, but now it'll be for my little friend. Well, anyway, let's try that again. Hopefully this time without any accidents. Come on. Don't fall. Don't. Don't take damage. No. Come on. Just a little further. Come on. <gasps> Good job. Woo! All the sheeps are officially in their houses. But now that I'm looking at it, all of the sheeps in this pen kind of make me sad. They're all squished together. So, I've decided that below the village, I want to wall off this area so they can roam around. A perfect place for me and my sheep. We have our walls of safety. Even though this side is a little less safe because there's no wall, but there is double dirt, so they can't get out. Hello, my friends. Are you ready to be free? Follow me. Come on. This is your new area. <laughs> Do you love it? Come on, come here. Did we get them all? No, there's still more out there. Guys, hey. There's wheat. That's right, come on. Hey, what about you? Hi. Come on. We did it. I love sheep lands. What about you? Let me know in the comments what else you think I should add. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe.